<laughs> save it in the right way. Putting all your big bubble posters in a box and putting them up in the attic. You guys were growing up. Who am I? What am I? We were growing up. We were growing up. <laughs> You're going off to college and get married. Yeah, yeah. We were trying to come out of hiding with girlfriends so you wouldn't hate us. And start drinking and some of us were drinking. Some more than others. Boys that you haven't seen for four years, five years. How you been? But the fans were calling, some of them, and the studio was calling, and even though we came up with something we wanted to say. the music. <laughs> May sadly have been the time when we realized that it just might be time to go away. No.
More than one for some of you. <laughs> more than a few wives for some of us. <laughs> we grew apart, but there was always a small and special place in our heart. You can never break the tie. <laughs> and even though we were growing up and becoming men, you all were losing some old friends. We knew, we knew one day we would come back again. That's true. I got a phone call. It was Joey McIntyre. Hey, Dad. Introducing me to a man named Jared Paul. I got a guy you should meet, bro. We decided to meet over a game of golf. And we went there, we said. I don't know a word that rhymes with golf. <laughs> but we talked and chatted. Didn't talk again for another seven months. Don't know why. <laughs> but then life started to have a few bumps. For me. Go ahead, Joe. It does. For me personally, I was going through a divorce and my life needed to change course. I couldn't say what I wanted to say and act it. I had to say it through song. I changed it. And that was the impetus to call my fellas and get us back. He said impetus, not impotent. That's right. <laughs> Ain't no signs of impotence. There's a big, big difference. started to talk. Hey guys. <laughs> the music started flowing. How about this song over here? And soon came the block. We all look like different animals, didn't we? <laughs> Jordan, Jordan and he said you were a giraffe, right? Like, you know, you know, you know, Dottie was a lion, of course. Thank you. Uh, Danny? Like Danny, a hawk. <laughs> Danny looked like he was still thinking about the Christmas album. <laughs> you might be over it, Donnie, but I'm not over it. I'm gonna try this not smiling thing. <laughs> Joe, you look very fierce. Thank you. Falcon. So, mm. Snake. I am gonna cry. Whoa. <laughs> I'm from a falcon to a snake. I was trying to avoid bird references. That's <laughs> no, okay, man. Anyway, this album. It was so special in so many ways. Jordan was a, I mean, John was a deer. John was a deer. A buck. A beautiful buck. Sorry. Anyway, so this album. You can say a doe. <laughs> There's a little doe in there. Sandlers aren't really that formed yet. Anyway. This album not only reunited us, it reunited us. And even though we were together as a band, the band was not complete without our fans. There's never been us without you. There's never been new kids without all of you. And now we've shown the world that not only can we do it again, we can do it even bigger than before. And on September 18, 2008, Yes. 
I was like, hey, girl, can I get your number? 